In this lecture, we're going to deal with electric circuits and resistors. So, a battery with an internal resistance of 0 0.5 ohms and an electromotive force of 12 volts is connected to a circuit that contains 5 resistors as shown in the following diagram. So, we have the 5 resistors as well as the internal resistance of our battery given by 0 0.5 ohms. So, in part A, we'd like to calculate the electric current that leaves our battery. In part B, we want to find the terminal voltage. And in part C, we'd like to calculate the electric current that passes through the 4 ohm resistor. So, let's begin with part A. To calculate the total electric current that leaves the battery, we have to find the equivalent resistance that will replace all these six resistors, including our internal resistance. So, let's begin by combining these two resistors which are connected in series with respect to one another. So, we're combining the 2 ohm and the 3 ohm resistors. Now, because they're connected in series, Areas, that means to find this whole resistance that will replace these two resistors, we have to simply take the algebraic sum of these two values. So 2 ohms plus 3 ohms gives us 5 ohms. So we essentially can replace these two resistors with a single resistor that has a quantity of resistance given by 5 ohms. So now we have the following three resistors which are connected in parallel with respect to one another. So in step 2 of part A, we want to combine the 3 ohm, the 4 ohm, and the 5 ohm resistors that was calculated in part 1. So, because they're connected in parallel to find the equivalent resistance that will replace these three resistors in parallel, we have to use the following formula. So, 1 over R is equal to 1 over 3 ohms plus 1 over 4 ohms plus 1 over 5 ohms. And that gives us 47 divided by 60 ohms. So we see that R is equal to 60 divided by 47 ohms or about 1.28 ohms. So this is the equivalent resistance that will replace these three resistors which are connected in parallel and that's shown in the following diagram. So now we have three resistors which are connected in series. So now we combine the 1.28 ohm resistor, the 2 ohm resistor, and our 0 0.5 ohm resistor, also known as the internal resistance of our battery. So because they're connected in series to find the equivalent resistance that will replace all these resistors. We simply take the algebraic sum of these three quantities. So 1.28 ohms plus 0 0.5 ohms plus 2 ohms gives us 3.7 ohms is the equivalent resistance of a single resistor that will replace these six resistors. So, now we're ready to calculate what our electric current is. So, to find the electric current that leaves the battery, we use this equation, which essentially comes from Ohm's law. So, our electromotive force, our voltage across the battery is equal to the product of our electric current and the equivalent resistance. So, I is equal to the electromotive force divided by the equivalent resistance, which is equal to 12 volts, divided by 3.78 ohms, gives us about 3.17 amps. So, the electric current that leaves the positive node, the positive electrode of our battery, is given to be 3.17 amps. Now, let's move on to part B. Now we want to calculate the terminal voltage. To calculate the terminal voltage, we have to apply this equation. So, the terminal voltage, V terminal, is equal to the electromotive force minus the product of the current and the our internal resistance. So we know the electromotive force is 12 volts, 
we know the I, which was calculated in this part, is 3.17 amps, and we know that our internal resistance of the battery is 0 0.5 ohms. So we take the product, subtract, and we get about 10.42 volts is the terminal voltage of our battery. And finally, let's move on to part C. So, in part C, we want to calculate the electric current that passes through the 4 ohm resistance. So we essentially first want to find what the voltage across this resistor is, what the voltage across this resistor is, and then subtract their sum from the total EMF, from our electromotive force. And that will give us the voltage across this resistor. And then we can use that to find what our electric current is. So we begin by calculating the voltage across our 4 ohm resistor. So that is equal to the electromotive force minus the voltage across our 2 ohm resistor minus the voltage across our internal resistance. And that is equal to 12 volts minus the product of the electric current 3.17 through these two resistors multiplied by 2 ohms minus 3.17 multiplied by 0 0.5 ohms and that gives us about 4.075 volts. So this is the voltage across this 4 ohm resistor. So now we apply Ohm's law. We know voltage is equal to I multiplied by R. So we can rearrange that equation and we see that the electric current through the 4 ohm resistor is equal to the voltage through the 4 ohm resistor divided by the resistance, so 4 ohm. So we have 4.075 volts divided by 4 ohms of resistance gives us 1.02 is the current that flows through our 4 ohm resistor, so 1.02 amps.